RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show is brought to you by Pride Seeds, CNM Seeds, and Becker Underwood. We're here today on RealAgriculture.com. We're at the at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. We're joined right now by Ralph DeVries from Becker Underwood. Welcome today, Ralph. Thank you, Sean. Okay, Ralph. Uh, Becker Underwood obviously has a product, High Stick NT. But let's back up a little bit um, and talk about soybean farmers and why they should be using inoculants and how you know how they get a return on that product. Okay, uh, growers uh, want to know more information. And, uh, we, we've uh, supported some uh, research with uh, Horse Bonner from uh, Ontario Ministry of Ag and Food, and uh, he uh, did a number of trials over five years, and, and what he showed us was that. Uh, inoculants return on average over the five years uh, one and a quarter bushels per acre uh, in in new yield so uh, if, if a grower uh, contributes uh, a dollar in inoculants he's getting uh, three to four dollars back so it's a great return on investment so that's one main reason why why you would use an inoculant. Okay, but having you know, having said that and knowing that kind of information, why is why would there be a question? Why why do you guys not use it? Well, and in, in actual fact, a number of growers don't use inoculants. And, and when we commissioned another study by uh, Ipsos Reed, uh, what we learned from that uh, was growers want to know more information about inoculants. Uh, Frequently, they, they said that they didn't have enough information, they didn't know the, the return on investment, and they, they didn't know how to use it. So we're uh, providing uh, additional information on those inoculants. Okay, so for those guys that aren't using it and we're, you know, we're, we're suggesting they should, just explain quickly, what does the inoculant do? What benefit does it provide to the soybean plant? So uh, our inoculants, uh, they're biostacks, so that means that they have uh, uh, two biologicals and the first biological uh, helps the plant fix its nitrogen and, which is the ry rhizobia and then the second inoculant uh, is Bacillus subtilis and that uh, helps the plant uh, produce more roots it, uh, and that root can hold more nodules and hence it can fix more nitrogen. Okay, okay so it, you know, let's use the seed example is it like stack traits Different modes of action on different pests, like or what is it? What is it doing? Yeah, it, it's it's very much like that, Sean. It, it uh, because the the one is helping the plant fix the nitrogen, and the other one is is protecting the the, the root against diseases and enhancing the plant's ability to hold a, a large number of nodules on the root. So, Ralph, when we talk about inoculants, it comes in different. Uh, like lack of better term, formulations or forms. What are those forms? Well, we have um, three formulations that are available uh, to the grower, and and the first uh, formulation is is a peat, and that's applied with the seed. And uh, the second formulation is a liquid formulation, and again, that's applied with the seed. Or alternatively, for greater convenience, you can have your retailer apply it with their seed treater uh, before you uh, take your seed home in bulk. So, so that's a very convenient way. Our third formulation, which uh, can be applied by the seed company, and uh, it, it comes uh, in the package seed, so in the bag or the tote, and uh, it's very convenient for the grower because he doesn't need to apply any more uh, inoculant. It's all there for, for the grower. And, and it also provides then uh, a long day on seed shelf life. Uh, so uh, the grower knows that the inoculant, when he's planting it, is fresh. Okay. Ralph, where are we going next with inoculants? Like, what's the next, you know, what, what, what do farmers have to look forward to in the future? Uh, th there's a lot of things uh, that we're developing and uh, and we're we're going to continue to add more uh, ingredients into our inoculants and seed treatments and uh, that will uh, provide more benefits to growers uh, enhanced yield enhanced disease uh, suppression uh, protection for the crop and uh, just uh, disease resistance uh, all things that uh, uh, we, we have in, in development today.